This is one of the weirdest theme parks in the world, where behind all of these amusement rides are a bit of Swabian culture and history. That was not fun. I don't want to... I... Poor bro, it's okay. It's exactly how I feel. Have you ever heard of Benson or My Bum? No? Me either. All of this is typical for Swabians, but who are they? Let's find out. Swabia is a region in southern Germany, and the Swabians are its indigenous people. It's also the location of the Trips Drill Amusement Park. There are many cliches about Swabians. Stingy and straight-laced, but also hard-working and innovative. Sparen, yeah. Häusle bauen, <laughs> und nicht nach dem Mädchen schauen. <laughs> oh! I guess it's partly our dialect, but also the food we eat. What kind of humour do Swabians have? How do you call it in English? Ironic. Eher trockenen Humor, so wie englischer Humor. And very uh, dirty. Okay, I think I need someone to be my guide on a tour of what they call the Schwabenländler, the region just outside Stuttgart. Berger Meyer Johann is the right man for that, and he knows Germany's oldest amusement park like the back of his hand. What, what kind of park would you say this is then? Our park is based on stories from Swabia in the 19th century, mm. and well, we also like to use some legends and tales of the, of the area. Nearly every one of the 100 attractions has a Swabian connection. So does the architecture of the park's Dorfstrasse. The half-timbered houses are typical of Swabia. Our first stop is the roller coaster. So what kind of ride is this, Birger? Um, the ride is called Volldamp, okay. which means like something like full steam. Uh -huh. The theme is the Swabian Railway. It's, okay. a, it's a folk song from the 19th century from the area. And um, huh. let me just um, sing it a little bit. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, the, the train goes from Stuttgart, Ulm and Biberach. Winke, Bayre, Turles, Bach. Trolla, 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 la, trolla, 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 la. Stuttgart, Ulm und Biberach. Winke, Bayre, Turles, Bach. Auf der Schwäbische Eisebahn dürfen Kühe und Ochse fahren. Wir bleiben alle weit und nah. Gut so alles was sale. Incidentally, the rail line from the song still exists. Memory of how I was a child on a <laughs> on a child's ride. How wonderful. The Swabians may not have invented the steam engine, but they can take credit for many other things, as I'll soon find out. But first, Birga and I have a challenge to take on. We have to move the wings just right to make as many turns as we can. The record so far this year is close to 100. Whoa! Uh, so you did three turns. Three. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Me, I only did one. Only one? Yeah. I, I tried at least. But is there some sort of Swabian tradition behind this? Uh, the history is Swabian. Yeah. Uh, it's a true story. Yeah. Of the tailor of Ulm. Okay. He was a big inventor. Uh huh. And in 1811, he invented a flying device. Was he successful? Um, partly. He announced that he would give it a try okay. at the Danube River, and then he jumped off with his flying device. But there was just bad luck. There was some strong winds. He fell into the Danube River. He was rescued, so he did survive that. He survived. Uh, he, 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 he survived, he was rescued. In spite of this one mishap, the Swabians have a reputation as inventors. They came up with the first type of match, maybe even the first teddy bear. They even created Hollywood. In 1912, Karl Lemmler, a Swabian, bought a poultry farm in Los Angeles and used the land to start Universal Studios. The Spetzle Press was invented here, too. Of course, it's indispensable to Swabian cuisine. The classic Swabian dishes are simple and hearty. Small wonder the Swabians were generally poor farmers. I had hoped we could slow down a bit after that big meal, but Birger likes action. Or is it just his way of having fun with me? That wasn't fun. That wasn't fun at all. That was not fun. I don't want to... I... <laughs> I feel okay, it's fine. I hope you feel better than him. But what's wrong with him? Well, I think he did oh. ten, 10 or 20 times the ride with the Karacho. <laughs> and I think he ate more than you did. 
that's beautiful. The sarcastic, folksy, swabian sense of humour seems to be infectious. On every corner of Tripstool are these odd, funny little figures, like this talking litter basket. I will thank you very much. Oh, he speaks English. <laughs> he thanks me very much for all of the clutch. And this. And maybe you want to climb that ladder and see uh, what happens there. Why? Well, there's no surprise for you. This, what, this is a ride climbing a ladder? That's not a ride, but, uh, well, it's a nice surprise for you. You can maybe encounter some nice people there, maybe, this is... maybe a young lady. Eh? Up this, okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. you want me to climb this ladder? Yeah, yeah. Just, just try and see what happens. <laughs> Mate, it's okay. It's In Swabian, it's called Fenstern, an old-fashioned method of courting a bride from the Schwabenländer. The gentleman would come calling on his sweetheart by climbing a ladder up to her window. But sometimes, instead of his one and only, he would find her parents at the top. A rude surprise. Before the day is over, we finally get a chance to relax and unwind. So what is this ride called? This is the Maibaum, so it's like a May tree. Mm. In some areas in Germany, especially in the south, and especially in, in the Swabian villages, there's the tradition to celebrate the beginning of May. Mm. So you would have in the villages dancing events, ah. and they are dancing around that uh, decorated tree. And so our day at Tripstrail theme park comes to a close. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for your visit, and um, please be our ambassador for Swabia all around the world. <laughs> Maybe I will. All right, bye-bye. Thanks. What a bizarre experience that was. I think we've learned a little bit about Swabian culture today. Don't forget to like, share, follow, and comment what you think about the park in general. And I'll see you next time. Bye.